Hi, I'm Henry Crew. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about the best motorcycle helmet chin mounts on the market. Now, I love chin mounts. They're great for POV filming, the camera moves with your head and it sees what you see. That through the bars view is just magical. It's great for photo and video and gets a nice balance of vehicle and landscape in your shot. Plus, it's prime for some motion blur. Being attached to your body, you don't have to deal with vibrations from the bike, which can negatively impact your shots. Being mounted to your head is almost like a human gimbal. It does work better on some bikes than others, better for tall bikes, bikes that you sit in, where there isn't as much distance between your head and the bars of the bike. I love this mount when I had my desert sled. It worked really well for me on retro bikes like Bonnevilles and big adventure bikes like the Multistrada Enduro. It's also been good for sports bikes where your head is super low and close to the bars um, due to the riding position. It doesn't work so well on my street triple because my head is so far from the bars. It's a low bike with an upright riding position and there's just a bit too much distance. One thing to be aware of with chin mounts is the extra weight and surface area added to the helmet, which can cause strain on your neck and cause some sort of buffeting and drag in the wind if it catches when you're riding. Now there's a few chin mounting options uh, that you can choose from. The first of which is a sticker mount, and this is how I started mounting action cameras on the chin of my helmet. The positives are you can choose where on the helmet you want to mount it, whether it's the chin, the side, the top, but you are restricted by the curvature and the angles of the surface. It may not be possible to get your camera level and centered without a lot of extensions, but I did like that I could use a quick release mount, which dampens the vibration and allows me to take the GoPro out of the mount quickly and easily, although you do normally need to reposition the GoPro every time you do this. However, the main reason I moved away from the sticker mount was because I didn't like the sticker stuck on my nice helmet all the time, ruining the lines. Purely aesthetic. Because of this, I've been on the lookout for a new solution and came across a bunch of cheap chin mounts that all use the same strap attachment. They are really cheap and I wasn't convinced that it would be great, but for five to 15 pounds, I thought it was worth a try. I'd seen the Dango gripper mount, which we'll get onto in just a second, but I wanted to at least give the cheapo mount a bit of a chance before spending 50 pounds on a Dango, which is quite a lot of money for a GoPro mount. The strap mount kind of serves its purpose, but in reality, it's pretty crappy and super limiting for a few reasons. The pros aren't real positives. They're just kind of acknowledgements that it functions in securing a GoPro to your helmet in a landscape position. It's really cheap and that's about where the good points end. Straight out of the box, I noticed that the straps aren't sealed at the end and they immediately began to unravel and fray. By the end of my first ride, they look like this. Mine came with a spare strap, which I've installed and sealed the ends myself by melting it with a lighter, but who really wants to do that? There's almost no adjustment with this mount. It straps where it straps and that's that. You can angle it up and down slightly, but it does come into contact with the GoPro frame, so you can't get it a perfect rotation on it. This is actually a flaw with the GoPro case and I've noticed it on other mounts, even ones made by GoPro. You can't mount it portrait, I mean, well you can, but it works even worse than it does in landscape. And because of that uh, contact with the camera frame, you can't get it perfectly flush. You have to remove the chin curtains and inserts such as this nose guard to mount the helmet, which is super inconvenient and also detracts from the overall comfort of the helmet. You can't even shut the visor with this mount installed and that's gonna become super inconvenient on long distance rides where you don't wanna to commit to this mount for the full day. So you're kind of stuck with this mount once you attach it to the helmet. Enter the Dango Gripper Mount, our knight in shining armor, here to slay shitty mounts and get you that dank content for the gram, brah. The Gripper Mount has been engineered with motorcyclists in mind, which is pretty rare. Um, it has got a bunch of great talking points and removes the majority of issues that I have with both the strap and the sticker mounts. It's so easily put on, adjusted and removed, and it's lightweight, and that's just for starters. The mount has two axis movement, which allows for more adjustment of the camera and means you can easily shoot in portrait or landscape, which I am really a fan of. Because it clips on and isn't fixed to a surface, it can be positioned however you wish, enabling you to center the GoPro's off-centered lens. And it also means that you can clamp it to a variety of surfaces and mounting points, such as tables, your backpack, or other parts of the bike. 
The grip of the mount is really strong and I don't feel like it's going anywhere, but luckily um, the front of the jaw is rubberized to prevent any damage to your fancy pants helmet. The Dango gripper mount is designed to come off in a crash so you don't sustain any injury to your neck, but it comes with a handy little leash so you don't lose it. There are extra mount attachments available to extend the mount or add a quarter inch mounting point for a digital camera. I'm assuming that this wouldn't be for helmet use, but more for when using the gripper as a tripod. The ease of attachment and removal is one of the best points in my opinion. You're not stuck with it on your chin all day and you can unclip the mount to clean your cameras, swap your batteries, change your memory cards, or stick it on a friend's helmet without taking your own helmet off or even removing your gloves. You can also quickly take the camera off to start or stop recording or just check it's recording at all or review your footage. As I mentioned at the start, chin mounts can be uncomfortable over a long period of time or when riding at speed due to the weight on the front of your helmet and the wind drag it creates. But being easy to remove and put back on, you can take this off, clip it to your bars, clip it to your bag when not in use and avoid that completely. There are a few points which I think could be reviewed but some may prove to be complete non-issues after a bit more use. Although the outside jaw is rubberized, the inside jaw of the gripper is really hard and it feels like it may damage the inside of your chin bar a little bit with extended use, especially if your helmet has a soft foam lining. Although lightweight, it is a bit bulky and does take up a little bit of space in your bag. It's also quite large when on the helmet and could come into contact with your body when moving your head. This could be a concern when doing shoulder checks. Just like with the strap mount, you still have to remove the chin curtain on your helmet if it has one, but that's not a big compromise as it takes about two seconds to remove the gripper mount and reattach the chin curtain. You don't have to remove anything else and you can still get a perfect seal on your visor with this mount attached. The plastic mount at the front feels a little bit at risk. I wouldn't go as far as to say it feels poorly made, but it does feel a little bit cheaper than the rest of the unit and slightly at risk as it protrudes out of the front. I think the final slight negative with this mount is the price. At $49.99, this is a pretty expensive mount, which probably puts people off initially, especially when you can get a sticker or strap mount for a whole lot less. So at the end of the day, I think if you dabble every so often in using the GoPro and want to try out chin mounting to see if you get any good results, then whack a 3M sticker mount on and see how it works for you. If you like the results from using the sticker mount or you're more seriously using a GoPro on a regular basis, then don't skimp and get a 10 pound strap mount because you're just wasting your money. Get a Dango gripper mount. It has so many benefits and although the price tag can seem a little bit steep, I think it's really worth it. In this case, at least you really do get what you pay for. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions on mounting your GoPro when riding a motorcycle or any of the products mentioned in the video, just drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I really appreciate it. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.